Grandma takes the wife. I owe the chili from the wife. I Mr. Hooper. Hello. Have Pink. you seen Brother Kirk around? Who? Brother Kirk. We were going to sing some songs today. Oh, Brother Kirk. Yes. Go right through the store into the army. Say a prayer with the children. Oh, okay. Hi, old time. Hi. 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 How you doing? I'm sorry I'm late, Brother Kirk. Oh, Hi, Bob. Hi, Pete. Oh, nice to see you again. Hey, look who we've got around. Good friend, think, Pete. Think maybe we can sing a song? Oh, yeah. Hey, kids, would you like to sing some songs with Pete? Yeah! All right. Hey, mm -hmm. why don't you sing a What are we going to sing, Pete? Ooh, let me see. Let me see if I can sing you a song you haven't heard before, but maybe you can still help me out. Here's one. The once was a man and he was hot and he jumped into a coffee pot. The coffee pot was so high. He jumped into a piece of pie. The piece of pie, it was so thick. He jumped into a walking stick. The walking stick, it was so narrow. He jumped into a wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow begun to crack. He jumped onto a horse's back. The horse's back began to break. He jumped into a chocolate cake. The chocolate cake became so rotten. He jumped into a bag of cotton. The bag of cotton caught on fire. Blew him up to Jeremiah. Well, you, could, you could sing it with me. You could sing it with me if you just remember the rhyme on each verse. Which word rhymes with the other word? There once was a man and he was hot. He jumped into a coffee pot. You got it. You got it? The coffee pot, it was so high. He jumped into a piece of pie. Piece of pie, it was so thick. He jumped into a walking stick. The walking stick, it was so narrow. He jumped into a wheel. The wheelbarrow began to crack. He jumped onto a horse's back. The horse's back began to break. He jumped into a chocolate cake. The chocolate cake became so rotten, he jumped into a bag of cotton. The bag of cotton caught on fire, blew him up to Jeremiah. <laughs> Hello there. Now today we're going to talk to you about the difference between light and heavy. And in order to do that, I've prepared a little demonstration here. Uh, you will notice that I've got two bowls here in front of me. Now this bowl over here is filled with light, fluffy feathers that Big Bird donated to us. On the other hand, this bowl right here is filled with big round rocks that uh, Oscar found for us, matter of fact. Now, in order to show you about light and heavy, I will lift up this bowl here. Now, when I lift the bowl of feathers, it's very lightweight. You see that? It's very easy for me to lift up that bowl. On the other hand, if I lift up this bowl of rocks, now it's, you can see that's a very heavy bowl. And it's not very easy for me to lift up that bowl at all. Now, furthermore, to explain a little bit more, if I lift up a feather and if I drop it to the floor, it falls down very gently. See, wasn't that nice? On the other hand, if I lift one of these here rocks now, this rock is very heavy and it's going to fall to the floor with a loud thump, like so. Oh! Yes, it, uh... Landed right on my finger there, too. Hello there, sir. Cookie. Uh, oh, no. No, these are not cookies at all. No? Absolutely not. No, these right here are rocks, you see. Rocks. Yes, they're rocks, and oh. they're very heavy. Oh, eat and, one. Uh, you want to eat a rock? Yeah, eat rock. Oh, I don't think so. No, oh, please. No, no, no. People, people, please. Don't eat, people don't eat rocks. Uh, monsters eat rocks. They do? Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, well, uh, thank you. I don't think it's... Good heavens. Mm. That was delicious. One more. One more. Uh, well, you, the, you're going to eat another of those rocks. Mm. Uh, but I don't really think that you should be mm. eating rocks mm. there. It's a... Uh, oh, more, more. No, rocks are very bad for you. I, oh, I good for monster. No, I think they're... Uh, my mm. goodness gracious. It's a, sort of a heavy meal oh, he's oh, eating there. Oh, boy. Look at uh, that big one. Mm. Listen, you're, you're going to... Uh, mm. you're oh, last eating, one, last one. But you're oh. eating every last one of my rocks there. And... Mm. Oh. Oh, delicious, thank you. 
Monster, you, you ate all of my rocks. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't think I even want you around here. Now, just leave, Monster. Oh, okay. Get on out of here. I'm sorry. Thank yes, you, Now, dog. just go. Bye-bye. Just go. Uh, I said go. Leave, vamoose, oh. ram, skedaddle. No, I can't go too heavy. You're too heavy? Too heavy. You mean you ate all those rocks and it made you so heavy you can't even move? Oh, you're so right. Oh, come on, monster. Now get up here where I can talk to you and oh. stop looking oh. at me oh. through the bowl. Oh, keep, keep pulling. Oh, oh, oh. There. Okay. there. Now look what uh. you just did. Now, I had this nice demonstration. I had two bowls. See that bowl there? That bowl was full of nice round rocks. And you, you, you ate all my rocks. Now all I've got left are the feathers. feathers. Now what kind of demonstration can I do of light and heavy if all the rocks are gone? And now, and now, and now, now he's eating my yeah, feathers. feathers yeah, now monster, feathers. what are you doing eating those feathers? Oh, what? Well, you see, monster eat heavy rocks. Oh, feather mouth. Monster eat heavy rocks, yes. get heavy. You got heavy, and so? So, wants to now eat light feathers, get light. <laughs> Say, Pete, save a song for me, huh? Eh? OK, we will. Let's get Susan out here. Hey, yeah, let's everybody shout for Susan. All right. OK, let's see if she can hear us. Ready? Susan! We're gonna sing your song. Oh, sing your song. Okay, that's good. We just called What's for up, you, sorry? Susan. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> Did you? You heard us, huh? Yes, indeed. We're gonna sing a song, well, about a man that perhaps none of you all ever heard of. Who's that? Benjamin Banneker. He's the son of an African prince. He self-educated himself and finally became one of the designers for Washington, D.C., and later drew the blueprint for Detroit, Michigan. January 22nd, 1791, commission was given by George Washington. The place was to be selected and drawn out from A to Z, what turned out to be present-day Washington, D.C. Major Charles E. Fant was given the leading role, but due to disagreement, was dismissed from the fold. He was placed by Major Ellicott, and it made for the first words clock. Benjamin Banneker was the man. Benjamin Banneker was the man, yes he was. Benjamin Banneker was the man. An expert mathematician, the best astronomist in this land. Benjamin Banneker was the man. On the walls of the White House, his armor neck still hangs. Explaining the four seasons and the nature of changing things. Being a son of African prince to be a slave, he was never convinced. Benjamin Banneker was a man. Benjamin Banneker was a man, yes he was. Benjamin Banneker was a man. So when you think of the capital and the architects of plan, remember Benjamin Banneker was a man. He studied the Big Dipper and the Milky White Way. Why you plant peas in the middle of May? Why you plant watermelons during the month of June? Then you could never plant tunnel green too darn soon. <laughs> Benjamin Banneker was a man, Lord, Lord. Oh, Benjamin Banneker was a man. Benjamin Banneker was a man. So when you think of the capital and the architecture plan, remember soul brother Benjamin was a man. Look over there between the buildings, are, are big white clouds? Yeah, yeah. Really that's what I like about sunny days and, and when you can see the clouds and the sky is blue and everything. Ever imagine, hey, uh, what, what's, what's all, my back what's all this neck stretching and pointing and stuff out here? We do. Oh, oh, we're looking at the clouds. Yeah, looking yeah. At the clouds Imagining what you can see in the clouds. Like, yeah, that's right. Uh, see an uh, uh, old man, long white beard? Yeah. Old man with a long oh, white that, beard? That looks like I, a tree. Over on the right side there, yeah. And it's like and three people are jumping out. It's a private plane. <laughs> Sorry. Well, and there are three parachutes. Yeah. 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 I don't see that. We're talking about the clouds. I yeah. see an ice cream cone. I think I see yeah. a banjo player up there. Hey. <laughs> Where? Right over there on the left-hand side. 
Hi. Oh, hi, Oscar. Hi, How are you? Hi. What's everybody craning their necks for well, looking up at the sky? We're looking at those clouds over there, Oscar, and, you know, using our imagination. Your imagination? What's yeah. that? Yeah, seeing all kinds of different things in the, in what the clouds. What you think of, Oscar. Yeah. Take, a, take a look and see, see what you imagine, Oscar. Well... Just look, look very closely and see all the different things you can see in those clouds. Well, I see, uh... Yeah, I see, I see some shapes. Look at that. The shape of that cloud looks a lot like, um... A, uh... A boy stubbing his toe. Oh, Oscar. Oh. You would think and, of something uh, like that, Oscar. That one up there looks like, um... The Johnstown Flood. Oh, God. Oh, Oscar. Oscar does and, not. Uh, Don't you see the old man with the beard over there, Oscar? Didn't you yeah, see yeah. Him? I see an old man with a beard. He just, uh, he stubbed his toe, too. Oh, oh my Oscar, God. you're, you know, I've got... That one looks like the earthquake of 1906. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oscar, you know, no. people see all kinds of different things when they use their imagination, but yours are pretty grouchy, your imaginations, I must oh, admit. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that one over there. Now, that one looks like a train wreck. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, that that nice. couldn't, couldn't you think of one thing nice, Oscar? What's nicer than a train wreck? Oh. I would like to think of some of the nice things that you can see in the sky. Yeah, I would see I think so. Fingles of the wind is strumming against the sun. The magic sounds of music fills the air. Although you may not know me, I'll see you and then I love you when the morning comes again. Early in the morning, I stand up on the sea, gazing at reflections running wild. If I happen to capture my own, I sing them in a song again, and I love you when the morning comes. Again. I saw your eyes are counting the stars up in the sky Although you had them closed when I was passing by Thought I came to cause you pain, I came to do no harm I love you when the morning comes again I'm the song of the living, I'm the song of the dead I can see you when you think you all alone. I can sing a song of love that will cease the pounding rain. And I love you when the morning comes again. I can speak the tongue of a princess, and I can speak the song of a slave. And I can give a young child a dream to embrace. I can expand the universe with the thoughts inside of my brain. And I love you when the morning comes again. And now I must be leaving you, I must not lose the sky. The sun, moon, and stars must be my guide. You gave me your love without asking me my name. And I love you when the morning comes. Again, again, again. Oh, it's a lovely one, Chris. Wow. Hey, Pete, Reverend, where are you going? I thought you were going to sing me a song. Well, I thought we did. No, for me, eh? All right, what kind would you like? Well, uh, you sang about almost everything. Uh, how about a song uh, about soda? I know a song about bottles, does that do? It's all right with me. Come on right in. I got a All right. Good. Here, look at here. Oh. <laughs> now there are bottles for you, right? Uh, Let's have the song now. Well, I need a musical instrument. I got a box. A box, too? I, I need a box. I got too. everything. Let's Wait. see. Oh, coming up in one moment. Here we are. Here's a box for you. All right. All right. This is just the right number, too. Six brown bottles standing on the wall. Six brown bottles standing on the wall. If one brown bottle should accidentally fall, there'll be five brown bottles standing on the wall. Five brown bottles standing on the wall.
standing on the wall. Five brown bottles standing on the wall. If one brown bottle should, should accidentally fall, there'll be four brown bottles standing on the wall. Oh, thank you. Good. Here, Marty. Isn't this Quench your throat. Cream of soda. Thank you. Listen, let's go see if we can find some kids to teach them a song. Oh. Who's in here? What is this? Big Bird? Big Bird. Mm. What's all this laundry doing in here? Mm. Mm. What? What? Take the clothes pins out of your mouth. Mm. Yes. Now, what's um, all this laundry doing? Well, um, Mr. Lee, who does the laundry in the little store down the street, well, he wasn't feeling good, so I said I'd help him by hanging up the laundry to dry. Oh, that's this very nice. This is the nice. only place I could find to put up a line. Is it all right? Oh, sure. Why don't we help you, as a matter of fact? Oh, you're going to help? Sure. Oh, sure. Here's some more. Okay, I have the clothespins, and the kids are hanging up some clothes. Okay, let me get back here by this line. Okay. Here's some. You need some clothes. Here's all right. I'll nice. sing you a song while you're working, I'll sing. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a grin. With a wiggle and a giggle and a google and a woogle. A jiggle and a jaggle and a giggle and a grin. Oh, I like that song. My mama said, my papa too. All kinds of work that I can do. Dry my dishes and I sweep my floor, but if we all work together, well, it won't take long. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a giggle, with a wiggle and a giggle and a giggle and a wiggle and a jiggle and a jack, a giggle and a grin. Well, Big Bird said, Susan too, all kinds of things that we can do. Pick up the clothing, hang up the wash, all do it together, well, it won't take long. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a giggle. With a wiggle and a giggle and a google and a wiggle and a jiggle and a jangle and a giggle and a giggle. Sister said, the brother too, all kinds of things that we can do. Bring her candy, bring him gum, all good play well, it won't take long. We all work together with a wiggle and a giggle. We all work together with a giggle and a grin, with a wiggle and a giggle and a google and a woogle and a jiggle and a jaggle and a giggle and a grin. Grandma 
said, Grandpa, too. All kinds of things that we can do. Okay. All do it together. It won't take long. Sing it together with one more time. All work together with a wiggle and a giggle. All work together with a giggle and a giggle. With a wiggle and a giggle and a Google and a Google and a jiggle and a jaggle and a giggle and a giggle. together we got a lot done really quick you know when when you cooperate it's a lot more fun right oh <laughs> uh, hi uh, brother uh, uh, cur, uh, pack cur, uh, crick, crack, pack crick, crack. Yeah. Pete Singer. Kirk. how do you say his name brother Kirk brother brother Kirk I love to hear you sing well, in that case, I guess I'll sing a song about love. Yeah. There is more love somewhere. There is more love somewhere. I'm gonna keep on till I can find it. There is more love somewhere. Somewhere There is more love Somewhere I'm gonna keep on Till I can find it There is more love Somewhere More peace somewhere There is more peace Somewhere There is more peace Somewhere slave days, before slaves were allowed to use instruments, or before they had instruments, they used their bodies as musical instruments. And it's they, well, the same type of music we're doing today. They use it, the same register. Let us try this, for example. You can take the left hand and extend it, and tap it in the heel with the right hand, and you get a very high tenor pitch. Let us try that. Yeah. Right on. Then you can bring the hands together, parallel, and you get what we call the baritone pitch. Right on. Then you can cross the hands and cup it, and you get the bass pitch. Thank you. Now, that's the way the music went. Let us try it all together. This is the tenor group. Okay. And your position will be this. Good. Baritones. Thank you. Bass. Good. 
All right, we're going to try it with music. Okay. Bass drum. Going to lay down my burdens Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Down by the riverside Going to lay down my burdens Down by the riverside Steady one more Ain't going to study one more Ain't going to study one more Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letter O, and by the letter Y, and by the number three. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.